Why are you being so nice to me? Carlo Hester is my father, and I never told you. It's probably because you were hiding it from yourself. I was. I knew what he had done to your family. And I met you. And I fell in love with you. I didn't know how to tell you. How can you even look at me? I'm Carlo Hesser's daughter. Yeah, you mentioned that. You're not Carlo Hesser's daughter. You're Talia Saeed. The woman I fell in love with. You know, maybe I should go check on Sarah, see if she and Christian need anything. I think that's a good idea, honey. And I'll, I'll watch the jewels while you're gone. <laughs> yeah. What? I, I'm just thinking of you. Uh-huh. Mm. Mom. Oh, Sarah. Sarah, are you all right? Yeah, there's something you need to know. No, Jonas didn't threaten you again, did he? Jonas is the least of our problems. He's working for someone else. The embassy, we know that. Wait a minute, you don't know? Jonas is Carlo Hesser's boy. You're right. Mom, Mom, you should have been there. The skate jam was totally awesome. Some of the people there are going to be in the pro games next month. That good, huh? Sick. When that dude landed at 720 on the mega ramp, it was kick ass. Uh, really good. I'm starving. Can I have a hamburger? Yes, you can. You both can. My treat. Thanks for taking him. What's wrong? Why can't Dad kiss you? Bo, I mean it. Do not get on that horse. What are you doing here, Balsam? Well, I went by your place, and there were movers there. They told me you had to put your stuff in storage? Yep. That's what I did. Why? Why? Well, I'll tell you why. Because I'm getting out of Dodge. No. Strike that. I already did that. I'm done with landing. All of it. Ooh, look! Oh, you think you're not gonna slow down and stop for me? Think again! It is Dorian. You maniac! Were you trying to kill me? Vicky? Dorian, what are you doing here? What are you aiming for me? If I were aiming for you, you would be roadkill by now. Mm. Wait. Who doesn't want to poison Natalie and Jared? You know, everybody hates them. Could have been Lois, the gardener. <laughs> What's the matter? I'd like to propose a toast. I'd like to raise my glass, our glasses, to Nash. To yeah. Nash. To Nash. Get out of my way, Balls. Bo, will you listen to me? No. Oh, son. How'd you find me, anyway? I, I, uh, I, I followed the pie. The pie? What pie? What, what are you talking about? There was this psychic Delphina. She told me to follow the pie, and then I'd find you. What, and you listen to that crackpot? I, I know. Sounds like a line. But she knew that I would have $61 in my wallet. She told me that the pie would be pecan. Right. I thought that she was just giving me a line. And then she told me to say goodbye to the woman I loved before I left. Yeah. 
So there I was saying goodbye to Gigi, and she gave me some flan for the road, and she said that it was almost as good as Noelle's pecan pie from the Bonjour. And I say, why not? The Buchanan Ranch isn't that far from Paris. So I get here, and by golly, two people recognize you from the picture I showed them. So then wait, I just, wait, wait. just stop, stop it, stop, back up. <laughs> You're in love with Gigi? Uh, Shane, go in the kitchen and tell Joaquin what kind of to-go burgers you want. Cheeseburger, plain, just like always. Just do it, okay? And tell him about the skate jam. Are you mad that Dad kissed you? No, I'm not mad. I just need to talk to your dad for a minute alone. Tell him to put some green chilies on mine. He was really stoked today, seeing all his favorite skaters. Cut the bull. Gigi, I'm sorry about the little kiss. I, oh, Brody, you reek of beer. What the hell is wrong with you drinking when you had my son in the car? I was standing right over here. You could have killed me, and you know it. Your responses have slowed down. No, Dorian, I brake for animals, even your kind. Uh -huh. Actually, the brakes on that car didn't take hold until just before I stopped. Oh. Now, what are you doing out here hitchhiking? I am not hit. It's a very long story, but... Okay, fine. That idiot David Vickers commandeered my car. He dressed up as my chauffeur. He tried to abduct me, and, and he did not bother to check the gas gauge. Then my cell phone doesn't work in this forest, and your car was the first one to show up in what seemed like an eternity. David left you here? Can you imagine that? Actually, yes, I can. <sighs> oh. Well, I'm glad somebody showed up, even if it did have to be you. <laughs> Open up, Vicky. This isn't funny. Vicky! Vicky! Do you think you can leave me here? No. I know I can. No! Jess, you all right? I, I, I have to tell you that... Uh, You're gonna tell us what, Jess? I, that I'm... I... You're what, sweetheart? I, tell me, tell me... Back off! I, sorry, S sorry, I just need to be alone. I'm sorry. How can you still love me? Uh, I told you. I know. I'm not Carlo's daughter in your eyes, and I'm not in my heart. But if I had told you sooner, don't. What? You somehow would have stopped all this from happening. Honey, we didn't even know Carlo was out of prison because of Ramsey. And uh, Sarah's here because of her mother and those jewels. Yeah, but you're here because of me. Yeah, and I wouldn't be anywhere else. <laughs> I love you so much. God, I, I don't want to lose you. I don't, hey. I don't want anything to happen to you. We're going to get out of here. Smart cops. Come on. Have a little faith. What do you want? Your presence is requested at court. Yours as well, Ms. Hesse. Don't call me that. As you wish. What's going on? Well, today is a, uh, a rather big news day in Mandora.